Kevin, you gave us Bull Durham, Field of Dreams, Tin Cup for Love of the Game. Uh, you're the Michael Jordan of sports movies. What, what took you so long to do a football film? And what was it about this role, the general manager of the Cleveland Browns, that made you think, you know, this is the one? Well, you can't invent these movies. I mean, no one could have invented Field of Dreams, such an odd movie to have such a strong place in, in men's hearts, you know, about just playing catch with their dad. I don't start off wanting to do a sports movie. I love sports sports too much and have seen too many bad sports movies to want to be a part of that lineage. So when I see one and I think it has a chance, I'm not afraid of it. But um, I don't try to just be in a movie like this. One of the, uh, one of the characters your character evaluates is a first round draft pick, a uh, potential pick, played by Arian Foster of the Texans. Uh, give us your scouting report. How do you do? Well, he was great. He, he was really ready. Which is, you know, that's surprising. But you know what? There's a lot to be said for somebody who shows up on time and is ready to play, is ready to act. And he was ready. And uh, so nobody had to wait for him. Terry, you know a few things about jumping from the NFL into acting. What, give us a scouting report. How do you think the young buck did? Dude, first round draft pick in, into entertainment. First of all, the skills are amazing. The, the ability to humble himself and learn from scratch, all over again. I've worked with a lot, of, a lot of athletes early on in my career, and when the athletes come on set, it's always like, you know, are you gonna do that? No, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna, no, I ain't gonna do that. And it's like, we have to say, okay, well, what will you do? <laughs> this brother came with a whole different attitude. He was like, I'm ready. Aaron, you went from a guest starring role in Hawaii Five-0 to playing a potential number one pick in draft day alongside Kevin Costner. Dude, do you know, do you realize that he's like the Michael Jordan of sports movies, or did you, or did you know him more as like Robin Hood? Um, I knew him as uh, Dances with Wolves. That's that's what I knew. My, my mother grew up, and she made me watch that movie, and I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. But like, we actually had a funny talk about that too. But I mean, it's 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 a, it's, it's it's still surreal to me. I'm sitting beside Terry Crews, you know, plays my pops in the movie. Um, it's just it's just wild. I'm a great opportunity, and I had I had a blast and learned so much and met met people that have lifelong relationships with. The Cleveland Browns are portrayed true to life in this film. Not a very good football team. Yo, <laughs> why you guys gotta pick on the Browns, man? Let me man? tell you something. Draft day sets up everybody in Cleveland. It does. It does. So now it they does. gotta expect something. Oh, you know man. what I mean? There's a movie about you, man. <laughs> uh, how you gonna do now? And it's like, oh, dude. Oh, Talk about pressure. This is pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Put on your GM cap with the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. Kevin Costner would select. I think, you know, there's a lot of drama when Johnny plays. And I, there's nothing better than drama because drama by definition means you don't know what's gonna happen. And um, maybe that's not a good thing. You want to know your guy's gonna play. But um, I think he turned that pro stadium into a nice flag football field. With the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, Arian Foster would select. Big Jennings. No, <laughs> no um, it's it's always tough, man. You never know, but I I, I mean, you, you know, you don't want to get maybe Jadavion Clowney. I think he, just, from what I've seen, I haven't studied any film on anybody, but just from what I've seen on the highlight, he looks like a very like athletic and like freak. You so, took in a game with uh, Johnny Football, I think a Houston Rockets game recently. I did. What's your? Uh, we know how he plays. What's your read on on the dude? The man. He's a regular cat, man. Just yeah. a ni nice, nice, funny, regular. But regular. he's not your number one pick. I mean, see, that's, see, that's why I didn't want to pick nobody. Uh, no, 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 no. I pick me. I pick a guy just like me because I knew I wanted to play. You know what I mean? I, it, you know what? But listen, the, the, first of all, the draft itself. It's really crazy because it's all subjective. It's, it's all crazy. Hype. It's like the Oscars. Is yeah. that really your best movie? Yeah. Well, the best movie is the movie you like. Exactly. So you know exactly. what I mean. It's all about. It's subjective. It's all about the day. It's all about who you like, what you need, all this stuff. And it, it's a real science. But the thing is, everybody's thinking how great the guy who picked the guy is. But the guy who wins the game is the guy who's playing. Yeah. I don't care what you say. The coaches, GMs, all that. This guy on the field. He's the guy that determines how good he is. Gentlemen, that's some really good analysis, but you might want to stick to the acting. <laughs> <laughs> and football. No, You're not that's the setup of a lifetime. <laughs> I got all my heart on. Yeah. Oh, you just stepped on it. Thank you, sir.